Hello everyone! In today's video, I'm going to show you what to do if your Meta Quest 2 controllers are not turning on. And as a first thing, how do you actually know if your controllers are turned on or off? In order to check that, uh, you can leave your headset turned off, grab your controllers and uh, then go ahead and simply press the A button on your right controller and X button X button on the left controller and when you do that you should see uh, the lights on the controller start blinking so if they do start blinking this is a clear indication that the controllers are getting power from the batteries and they are turned on so let's assume that we press the buttons and the light on the right control left controller didn't start blinking so what should you do next and the first thing you want to do is open the battery cover and in order to do that you're simply going to have to press somewhere here and slide it downwards. So now I'm going to try to remove the battery and I find it easiest to do if I simply press down with my thumb and try to slide it out. So inspect the battery compartment and see if uh, the actual contacts are clean. So this one on the negative side and also this one on the positive side. If you see any residue here, then this should definitely be cleaned. And I'm not going to discuss it here, but if you Google it, you can find lots of articles. So once that's done, you're going to have to reinsert the battery. So I'm going to try and put back. And then simply go ahead and press the buttons again and see if the light now starts blinking. The next step you want to do is uh, test the connection with different batteries. And uh, the reason for this, uh, as weird as it sounds, is that as you can see from here, the, the batteries, although all are uh, AA 1.5 volt batteries, they differ in sizes. So you can clearly see the second one is um, is shorter than the others and also I don't know if it's visible but the pins on the top here differ in size. So grab a pack of new batteries if you can get different ones and test it with these ones. So if testing with new batteries didn't solve the issue either, the root cause of the problem might actually be the bad build quality of the Quest 2 controller. And I'm going to explain why. So if you look at the battery compartment, um, you can see that on the negative side, the contact pin, if you press it down, you can feel that there's a spring there. And what happens over time is uh, the spring gets uh, weak and it, it, it isn't able to push the battery uh, to the contact on the other side. So what we can do to solve the issue is uh, grab a piece of uh, aluminum foil that's on my right hand, uh, fold it together like I have, and we're going to put it on the flat side of the, of the uh, battery. So it's a bit uncomfortable, but I'm going to try my best. Uh, so what you're going to do with the aluminum foil on the battery, you're going to carefully, carefully insert the battery. And what this does is make the, make the connection tighter. So, and it has actually, based on my research, this method has uh, solved issues for many and many and many users. So, it's, it's definitely worth trying out and go ahead and test with different, uh, different thickness based on uh, how weak the spring feels and see if it solves your issue. So if you have gone through all of the steps mentioned in the video and uh, you still can't get the controller to turn on, then my last recommendation is to uh, keep the battery inserted and uh, after a minute or maybe even less, check, check if the battery is getting hot and um, if it is getting hot then, uh, then likely there's a sh short circuit in the, in the controller and you're going to have to, basically you have a faulty controller and 
you're gonna have to send it into Oculus or resolve it through warranty. Uh, anyway, that's it from me. I hope uh, you were able to resolve the issues you were having. If, if the problem I described is not quite uh, what you are having, then I recommend you to check the pinned comment uh, of the video. Soon I'm going to complete my uh, master Oculus controller troubleshooting article and uh, I'm sure you'll find lots of useful tips from there. Okay, thanks for watching and goodbye.